finals, which is Vixel versus Juice Buzz. First oh. Oh, well, that's another CVS2 match, isn't it? Hell yeah. Eric Lee versus John Choi. Live and let die. Yo, Leezy? Leezy. I think he's only got a left foot to still plays this game. So Oh my god. Oh, oh man, we got a free. Yep. If you want to learn how to play Guile this game, just, just watch it. No. There's something I really love about Leezy's play is he utilizes K groups in this place. Like oh, yeah, said, definitely. Just defending mul multiple attacks, like one, two, three, as opposed to just just defending one and holding back. Yeah. This battle is about to explode. I'm trying to see that pretty hard one. Right? Oh, oh, oh. Level 2 cancels there into roll. I think he's gonna get a workable amount of life back from this. Another rock play. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, dude, like, Lizzie's hand is just so, so fast with that back. Wow! Shine that little death. I didn't find a roll four into the fucking side This battle is about to explode. Fight! 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 He also got mad. Oh, that might not be the same. God, it's no good. Oh, he did the deadly reef the whole way through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Style A lot of people, yeah, most people I saw play this game, they couldn't finish off the deadly reef. They screwed up somewhere in the middle. Really? Yeah. Tell yeah, you. it was weird. Yeah, it, it is. But I never understood why people dropped this one. Well, for max damage, though, you're supposed to stop at the second to last hit. Like before he does the magic hands, and then you do a uh, yeah, close piercing the elbow. Yeah, it's, it's actually the same in Park of the Wolves. Or if you're playing in Groove, you still see in the suit. Oh, that did so much. Yeah, ratio to Sagat. Oh, he's not winning that air poke game, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was Yo, beautiful. Oh. That's an amazing finish right there. That just happened. Holy crap. Way to sniff out that tiger uppercut, Leezy. Yo. Unbelievable. That's sick. Leezy's amazing at this game. And he still is amazing at this game. Ooh, so... I think we're going to go right believe... into uh, Pixel versus Juice Bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was a... Uh... A match that got set up in tandem with me versus Juice Box. I mean, originally it was just supposed to be Pixel and Juice Box, and then I forget how I get I got roped up into it, but I decided to do it anyway. Uh, suffice to say, this was definitely a much more entertaining match than mine. Oh yeah, and yeah, this is direct capture, so there there won't be any stupid camera moments. Yeah, this is this is what we spent all our money on. The budget went for this to this match. Mm -hmm. We have a budget. <laughs> good, good joke. <laughs> You can tell the budget definitely was blown because these are some of the best overlays I've ever seen. Oh yes, these overlays so beautiful. And um, the names are actually uh, Hell Pockets put in the names wrong. So as you can see, Fixel is Hell Pockets, and Juice Box is Juice Box, but the names are supposed to be switched around. Actually, no, actually, so Juice Box is, is Fixel, and yeah. 
Juice box is box. Juice box. First yeah. player is Fixel, second player. Is. Juice box is the guy Juice. playing King. Just, just do that. Yeah. yeah. Man, Chris, yeah. you're an idiot. I wasn't even there at the time. Yeah. Yes, you were. You're the one who put these names in front of me. And then I I told you you're a dumbass for this. I didn't get... No, see, that wasn't me changing. I think that was uh, Jaime. No, no, it was you. Well, fuck it. I like that, bro. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Try, trying to play my boy. What the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> and uh, Fixel finishing him off early with Takuma. And I'm pretty sure he wasn't even taking him seriously yet because he never plays Takuma anymore. Oh, so this is Joker on character? Yeah, man. Like, if he's, like, serious, he'll play karate. I mean, who wouldn't? I don't know. I think there's different reasons to play Takuma versus karate. I think they actually play very differently. Mm -hmm. In terms of what you can do off a of random air to air, yeah. Well, I just think if you're really good, like, if you're really secure in your execution, I think Takuma can be just as good, but you gotta make that one hit count. Yeah. Like And the anti-air super there? Yeah. I mean, Karate is really good at converting, like, random hits into good damage, but Takuma converts one hit into your dead damage. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow! Freaking and early roll. Yeah, that's what this game promotes a lot. Uh, yeah. the one hit kills. Did uh, Pixel just do double crown seed? Like, on hit? No, no, it's two whiff crown seeds, look like. Oh. I missed it if he did. Oh, wow, so sniffed out that, uh, Colkin. I think that, uh, that looked like a pretty random V-slasher, I have to say. Well, Juice Box does play Rio also, so he's probably expecting uh, the corner lockdown. And so he knows he has one chance to get out of it. Alright. I mean, unless Fixel fucks up his inputs and doesn't do like Stan D. Culkin. And Fixel's uh, Shin Wu, the, the NorCal classic. I think that's everybody's classic at this point. <laughs> yeah. We did it first, damn it! Good, uh, good normal control, just basically stuffing any kind of jump in from Leona. And when you have that much more life, you know, she's got to come to Shen, which is definitely what she doesn't want to have to try to do. Mm -hmm. Dude, this shit's still reversed. Yeah, it stays reversed for quite some time until I <laughs> notice it. Well, thank you for that. I think it, it, uh, I think it gets fixed in, like, the third or fourth match. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. Here's a, here's a kind of a hard match for Shen, because King just kind of runs away all day. Yep. And fireballs make it so hard for him to get in. Right. And he's so, not going to use her his uh, anti-fireball move to get rid of him. At all. Okay. Although, I will say, right. Juicebox was rushing him down pretty effectively that whole round. Mm -hmm. Just ducking, jumping CDs into throws, which were uncontested on a break, and just pretty much controlling the flow of that round. No fear got at all. Good, got to get in there. Let's yeah, had he actually me. knocked the uh, king down, he might have been able to start something because she was at zero meter, and that means she has no wake up. Yeah. You can you can just safe jump her all day. You can contest that move and half the time to trade with it. So. We're just back into it. Yep. Just a little back and forth. Going for the crowd to uh, jump down C. Oh, good roll out of the corner for that. Yeah. I, you know, I honestly don't know too much about this matchup myself. I feel like uh, at distance, Kyo wins all day, but once Takuma gets in, he's, he, it's a nightmare. Well, yeah, he has the, uh, the command grab that just, you know, you want to press a button, and so just to avoid getting grabbed, because you know that's going to lead to your death anyway. Um, yeah. Well, I guess any, any character that's bad. Give me any thoughts on the matchup Takuma versus EXQ? Uh, I think it's 50 50. Um, from my experience playing the matchup and watching a lot of people play it, Kyo generally has the advantage in most situations until Takuma actually has meter. Um, he can actually get him out with, I hate to say it, C Super uh, to stop 
stop him from rushing in, or just EX command grab. His regular command grab doesn't really work too well against EX Kyo because he's got way too many quick pokes and several yeah. options to deal with it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a pretty weird thing actually, starting Takuma. Because normally you want Takuma to be pretty stocked with both drive and meter to really to really just pop off on people and get that death combo. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to start, uh, I still have to start Takuma every now and then. Um, he's he's a decent point character, but he does need meter to do all of his that, like big combos. And by the way, combos. that was a really good parry by Fixel. Into yeah. full confirm. Oh, good jumping. But yeah, you were saying, Gibby. Oh, no, I'm just saying, like, uh, Takuma generally would be best second or last. First, yeah. he can, depending on who you have on your team, he's actually a decent point character, because he does build meter pretty well. Um, he can actually build a ton of meter using his fast hands. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can whiff and he builds a ton of meter with it, yeah. as well as hit. But yeah, you do need, uh, if you're not in the corner, you do need meter to do damage. And we got pause. Got pauses. And that was Juice Box pausing it for the. Just to enjoy that he, last hit. Now he's probably having a fucking Asperger's moment. <laughs> <laughs> he probably like started like river dancing on his stick, how he loves to act out what the characters do. Yeah, Michael Flatley on a stick? Yep, yep. He's Lord of the Dance. Damn. Definitely looked like a missed confirm into Super Fireball there by Fixel. Yeah, he had the overhead, yeah. which he could have canceled into a super. Man, I really wish we had someone that was a real player that could chime in on some of these matchups. Oh, I don't think any of us are qualified for that. None of us know how to play this game. As you saw, Hell Pocket does its proof. <laughs> yes, I, I am not qualified to commentate on anything yeah, other than Terry matches. Good friend. Metaphysics was here. Metaphysics was here? Yeah, if only. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Abe just doesn't know how to work technology, much like uh, David. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah, over there. Exactly he's too busy writing poems about hand jabbers. <laughs> and girls with nice tats. <laughs> oh, that's I had to have the on mute. <laughs> I was on talking, I was like, dude, they can't hear me, what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, metaphysics, he doesn't know how to use technology. Oh my god. <laughs> and like a typical Mexican, he just woke up on a Saturday. <laughs> yep. Nah, dude. So, uh, metaphysics, what do you think of the Rio King matchup? Since you um, do play Rio yourself. Well, I, I, I think it, it is a... I think it's like a flat match of like 5-5. Five, five. I don't really think there's a really... Uh, anybody has the advantage. If anything, it's very slight to, to King. Because even though you do have a parry, um, it doesn't really change the dynamic of the, of the match. Because mm -hmm. you're still trying to deal with these fireballs. There's no really way of you trying to get around them. It's just try, like slightly throw off the timing, which is pretty good. But um, yeah. But the other thing is, is that Rio has this type of fireball that just takes up a lot of space. Well, I don't know, it just goes either way. It's not bad and it's not great. It keeps you from jumping forward a lot, that's the thing. Like, if you can't jump forward because you're afraid of getting hit by Colgan and then, like, getting juggled, then you're not going to do it. Right. And right now, Fixel in danger of losing its Rio to this ESQ, and there it goes! Oh boy. Yeah, I think especially in this matchup, uh, Rio should really utilize his sweep because it's super long, like yeah. really good reach. It's really and, fast too. Yeah, and especially a lot of people who use Kyo, they like the zone with the Rekkas. And the sweep is a really good way to make them stop just like zoning for free. Pretty much everything uh, EX Kyo has is not lower body auto guard, so. Exactly. Unless he's going to low A you, you can just like sweep him after every block string. I mean, a lot of people have confidence in, in the, the rec of pressure because it, it is really good, but people have to be, uh, challenge it, especially if they, they're capable with like a, a low D with Rio, which is really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But back to the, uh, he's switched to Mr. Karate now. Yeah, he's starting to take him seriously. But, well, this is an opportunity. I'm sure they canceled that into another DP. Yeah, I'm... Well, I'm kind of confused why he didn't just cancel the super at some point. Like, I feel like EXDP is sort of a waste of meter. 
It, it pretty much is. I mean, if he can do EXDP or the Super DP, you know? Yeah, well, he could have just done he could have just done EX Super, and it probably would have killed her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I noticed about Pixel is he does a lot of uh, combos that aren't. I would say that the most optimal thing to do. Like he has this combo with Rio where he does down uh, down C into Fireball and Super Cancel Super. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 he could do other stuff. It's just easier though. I, I guess, but he, he's so autopiloted on that. Like, he just does it automatic. He doesn't think about the situation. Yeah, that's the thing I was going to say, too, is that Crouch C to C Fireball, Super Cancel, you can't confirm it. You just have to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of other stuff, like, especially with uh, Karate, you know, to getting EX Super off a lot of his stuff, is you can just easily confirm it. You can react and go, oh, okay, I got, it. you know, everything hit, and I got it. I just thought he had to it up. Oh Agree. Agree. Be a man, do the right thing. Got some suggestions, but <laughs> always doing advice. the right thing. And there's King's one reversal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, keeping him in the corner, though. Wow. And Fixel's just—he always does that shit. He just like wants to get him off, so he does like a slow ass punch. Yeah, and well, I think Juicebox proved that. He didn't really know how to get a character off him. Like, it really shows that Fixel Shen doesn't know how to get people off him. Yeah. He's like, uh, the only thing I know how to do is just waste meter. The, the dumb thing is, though, he is, you know, he he's been in those situations with a lot of players in NorCal, and instead of EX punching, he's just EX grab, which works the same way, except you don't leave yourself out there as long. Yeah. Well, I think what he was going for in this case is that if King jumped, he would escape and would have a chance to keep him in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's 3 0 right now. Thinking about it? Not a good look so far. No. Um, do, does Pixel get a lot of play versus um, Kings? King? Only when we run into, like, piece, uh, pain or something. Because he looks, like, really flustered. Like, he can't figure out a way to get around a lot of things. And maybe his character. On, on top of that, I'm making it a little bit more difficult for him, the way yeah. that he plays them too. Well, I feel like that's a common problem too among KOF players in America in general, is that everybody's just, like, they want to attack so much that they're just running into fireballs all day and running into anti-airs with King. Yeah. You see a lot of super impatient play that just leads to entire matches being lost. Yeah. <laughs> People just don't know how to slow down. I mean, I know, how, I know the feeling, like, sometimes you fuck up and you just, like, you're trying to go back to that one moment where you messed up just to make it right, and in the meantime, you're getting bodied. Yeah, yeah man, sometimes you feel like a nut. Yep. yep. And so far, you know, so far, Fixel's Rio is not having any luck. No, he, he, I think he, he might switched, switch him. Yeah, he switched the order uh, last game, but it didn't help. He's, you know, in both games, he lost Rio to Kyo. Just pretty quick, too, like, fairly decisively. Yeah, and, and I actually think this is a more difficult matchup for Mr. Karate, because... Like I said before, the hop, the hop area uh, for Kyo is pretty much shut down for Mr. Karate. Right. And Mr. Karate's love hopping. They're like, ah, free hops all day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he I did mean, get the confirm there, and he got the super. Right. Yeah, very nice. All right, he's showing signs of life with this Mr. Karate. This is kind of a weird matchup. Yeah. <laughs> well, any matchup with Leon is kind of weird because unless you are fearless against her moon slashes and know you can punish them when they need to be punished, you know, you're going to kind of let her get away with a lot of shit. Or when you're cognizant of when they have a charge for it. Yeah. yeah. What I don't really like that people do are like CD cancels into like specials from really far away. And like, especially. What I saw Juicebox do, he did a CD into like, you know, the running slash move, which yeah. is really unsafe. It's like dead giveaway that he's gonna do something like that. Um, but yeah, stuff like that should get countered. But I don't know how many times he's done it because I just watched this match. Yeah, I mean, he's he's only done it once or twice. Ooh, that was not a good idea. That was weird. Did he just try to throw it out? I think he was looking for maybe an so EX. He was uh, trying to combo it. Oh, man. Oh, so the combo just because of the distance or what? 
Uh, yeah, it, it dropped because of the distance, but he was trying to go for um, either EX trap shot or tornado kick. Damn! Cop pressing a button. <laughs> but definitely a turnaround, like you were saying, you know, when he switches to EX, uh, EX Takuma or Mr. Karate, that's when he starts taking things seriously, and it showed, you know, a minute he started playing that character, he definitely started playing more secure in, in his matchups, and turned around, got a game, got on the board. Still think this Rio is kind of assy. But. Yeah. Well, maybe he's learning his picking his spots now. Because that's what Rio's supposed to do, is just like your opponent throws something out and you just go underneath it. Yeah, Rio, the thing about Rio in this game that I like is that he's really good at poking characters and controlling the momentum. The thing about Rio I don't like is that he doesn't really have that gigantic damage option in most situations. Ooh, nice. That a lot of characters do. Mm. <coughs> his Rio seemed to have been doing better when it was like in the second position. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he got his uh, his bread and butter off, so that's gonna be it for his kill. Yep. And he's starting to trust his parries a little bit more. He just is not uh, canceling them. I honestly feel like it seems like most of the NorCal players we've seen today don't really have any kind of control of the matchup until they have a lot of meter. Yeah. It yeah. feels like none of you guys have really worked on meterless combos and optimizing that or optimizing those to get knockdowns to where that you can then control the pace of the match. It just looks like you're like, all right, I got this meter. I can do this big damage combo. Uh, yeah, it's very much like, you know, straightforward like that. Um, some of us, like like BBZ is one, is one of those players up here who doesn't really care much for meter. He'll spend the, all of it if he has to. Wow, what well, the hell is BBZ that? actually comes from uh, past KOF games. Like, he does have a history with KOF. Yeah. And in older KOF games, you don't really need to rely on meter for super damage. Meter is used more for um, blocking, uh, guard breaks and guard rolls. Yeah. yeah just a second ago, that was a good punish on V Slasher, but he could have done more, you know, he just did three uppercuts. I, was I, guess he was I guess he was saving his meter for that, right? Just, yeah. What just mm -hmm. happened. The equalizer. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I actually got to give the juice box for not doing that reversal as much as he probably could have. Yeah, but I mean, that was a really weird backdash V slash he did earlier. Yeah. Sort of a Hail Mary. <laughs> Showing that maybe he started to get a little rattled by uh, karate. Well, he's thinking that he has to be a little unorthodox to, like, you know, catch karate in those spaces that karate normally isn't in, you know? That's a pretty Usually. optimal combo there, corner combo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good block. Yeah, I think Pixel gets pretty optimal damage with uh, karate. Like, out of all his characters, he always gets pretty optimal damage. Yeah. yeah. Man. Really good read, like to know how much damage that was gonna do, because I think that did just enough. Yeah, that last hit, um, it's about 130. Okay. Yeah, it was. He was about. He had about 100 left, I think it looked like. Yeah. So that was a quick turnaround, two games. Yeah, man, this is already picking up steam, dude. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. So it's currently 3-2 right now. Yeah. See, and I like how he's utilizing the parries more as the rounds go on. Right, he's getting more confident in that. Very yeah. nice. I like that opening. How he jumps straight up. Pretty faithful. Yeah, because in that situation, the EX kill with no meter is not going to do shit. Unless you no. run mm -hmm. DPs, and by the time he does gets it out, you're probably going to be on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sees here. Really good job by Fixel just sweeping him. Man! I, he's like, I know you're looking for the jump or the overhead, so I'm just going to keep sweeping you and take the reset on the mix-up because I'm getting damage every single time. Right. Yeah, it seems like he was backdashing a lot, too. That's probably why he got cut. That could be, too. And then on the third time, he tried to jump over him and Fixel was ready with that uppercut. Rio's uppercut is so fast. Yes, his A uppercut. Is. His A uppercut is so fast and his C uppercut is super invincible. Yeah. Ooh, that stand D is super meaty. All right, Rio has got his group now. back here. Yeah. Yeah, he's really using that stand D really well, which he wasn't using earlier. Just got to set it and forget it, baby. 
No, I mean, he's just checking him every time he moves forward. But. That's not a loss for him, really, because, like, Leona had to do so much shit just to... No, that's a character in 80%. That was definitely... Rio did his work there. Yeah. yeah Rio can go home. You can you can clock out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in that overtime. <laughs> oh, let him jump in for free, why don't you? And this is where all the problems have been. And there it was. Yep. The move that nobody does anything about. Nope. And once the you get hit by game. that... Once you get hit by that, you're just kind of like, can I come back from this? I've still got two characters to beat, and he still has a bar in full drive. It's one of those things you think people should train themselves to do, where it's like, am I kind of far away? Did he glow blue? Should I jump? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing about it, too, is once you, once you hit somebody with it once, they're constantly looking for it for the rest of the set. Yeah, they are. And that's literally like, you know, it's only used to kill people. <laughs> It's not used oh, yeah. to like mid match because it's just you're not really gonna uh, Mr. Karate is not really gonna get anything from that. Good read on the jump, EX super yeah. getting a lot of damage. That was Cold actually kind of good. It almost looked like he baited him into doing that jump in because he had left himself at such low guard bar yeah. that Juice was gonna take a risk to try to guard crush him. Right. If so, that's a fantastic read. Wasn't paying attention to that meter. Oh, and there we go. Fixel's one big problem is not being able to. Tell when to do DPS. Well, it's that's a, a lot idea. of yeah. yeah. That's a lot of people's problems. Yeah, the only person I know that doesn't have that problem is Fedfus. He always doesn't want to do DP. <laughs> Good times. Party time DP. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, I, I, yeah, I do not remember was. the score for this, so I'm like, dude, this is sick. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know who wins. It's like three up now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's 3-3. Oh, wow. Man, Indonesian train. Uh, you know what? I'm really happy to see Fixel adjusting. That's something I never really see him do. Well, since the last time I've seen him, that, that wasn't his forte. Like, really like, make big adjustments. But yeah. it seems like he's really starting to do that now, and that's great, man. I, I want to see that as a player like him. Just putting Mr. Karate in front. Yeah, we got a wholesale order change on both sides here. Yeah, man. I think he just wants to embarrass him now. Yeah, I really got to compliment Fixel on adjusting, and I really got to compliment Abe on using the word forte right. That's true. <laughs> I didn't know Abe knew that word. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> you know, um, I'm not really sure about this matchup. Like, Karate definitely does the damage when he gets the hits, but I feel like in this matchup he can he can have some issues getting in on King. Yeah, not having it right now. No, Juice it's Plus definitely not. Has definitely shown that it kind of needs the meter to do anything. <laughs> wow, oh, good block, dude. That whole round was like, oh fuck, I gotta put King first. Oh fuck, <laughs> my King sucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck, this is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> there was definitely a lot of just panicking moves from Juice there, and I mean, cap it all off with, wake up, EX Super. Yo, spend it, spend it. We so bred it up with meter, we don't want it. I mean, the thing about that was not only was it blocked, but even if it had hit, what would you have really gained? Nothing really, other than like, you know, a Cause brief, he was, uh... he was probably gonna die immediately, and Karate would have probably gotten all that life back. Most yeah. likely. What? Just fucking boots her? And now, now wow. Fixel is feeling himself. Yeah, Yo. In the brain! He, he seriously did, what was that, like, four run that command was... grabs? Dude, it was—he just wanted to make sure she knew what his knees look like, in case he forgot. <laughs> yeah, she got a, she got a, a close-up of those knees, man. <laughs> All the calluses from running up people's faces. <laughs> trying to work these calves out, girl. You don't know about this life. No, he's just disrespecting them now, man. <laughs> Disrespect. Oh, bad DPs, no. There it is. He wanted that one back. He was like, ah, I can't live like this. Yeah, oh, we really, uh, really good adjustments by Fixel here. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh no, man. dude, I don't think Keo knows what my knees look like. Let me show him. <laughs> it's not my and, feet. If it, <laughs> and if it wasn't apparent earlier, Juicebox does not know what that move looks like. Nope. <laughs> Nobody in Arizona plays Mr. Karate. Oh, I, I have no idea. I guess we can't call it Scumbag Arizona anymore. Okay, he just throw... ca don't counters out like fuck it, whatever. 
<laughs> my fireball, man. <laughs> I need to throw fireball. <laughs> Do you guys think that like the whole mental game by picking karate would have affected Juice Box? Like, oh god, karate is so top tier. Yeah, it's possible, but yeah, I mean, know. it very well could be. Some people really freak out about stuff like that, but you know, the first match. That he picked karate. That I mean, Fixel did eventually end up winning it, mm -hmm. but it was really close. Mm -hmm. So no, Fic Fixel just did a really good job of adapting. Yeah. yeah. And Juice Box is not. Yeah, it's pretty much like Juice has been baseline the entire game. He's yeah. pretty much playing the exact same way as he played from the very first match. Well, he's actually like gotten shittier. Like whereas Fixel's <laughs> yeah, like adapting, right? Juice is just collapsing. <laughs> like he's yeah, taking more risks, and they're not really paying out. Well, and they're bad risks. They're not even like the smart risks. Like you know, we were talking. I was talking about that EX super at the end of the round. He's taking risks that are just not, not ever gonna work out. What? That's like the tenth one of those. I'm yep. exaggerating, but I don't even. That was full screen though. Full yeah, screen. Yeah, real, was. dude. Mm. Nobody gets hit by full screen. That's you're just like you're, you're, your hands are sweating. You're missing the lever. Yeah, you're asleep at the switch at that point. Yeah. Mm. Did, did Juicebox not have his boys by his side? <laughs> Juicebox has boys? That's, yeah, that's no, right? right oh, is he just like, he's giving he, up? Uh, oh, he just uh, cheated? No, oh, no, he's uh, back. Uh, he's giving up. I think <laughs> at that point he was asking what the score was. Yeah, he uh, probably was. No, he was just singing the Linkin Park lyrics to himself, man. He tried so hard. Wow, and he, he got so far. And in the end, he only got knees in his face. He should have. <laughs> Holy shit. He should not have asked. Oh wow! Love this like, reversal. That wow. He he should not have asked the score because he just mind fucked himself even more. He's like, what do I got? Down C. <laughs> I, you know what? I haven't even seen him zone with Rekas really, and I was talking about that earlier. Yes. Like, why, he doesn't do that. By the way, I think just to think about this, that was a reverse five zero. Yeah. That yeah. was a reverse broom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's 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 ugly. That's something you never want to happen to you, ever. That's a never again moment. Yeah. You just kind of stare oh. off the cliff. Is this where Tyra and him are all talking shit to each other? Uh, yeah, so a uh, little note after this match, uh, Tyra, a player from NorCal, started talking shit to Juicebox for whatever reason. And uh, they got into it. And they got into a nice heated argument, which um, I, I don't know, I personally found hilarious. Uh, they ended up playing a first of three match which Tyram got destroyed in. Uh, we don't have it tonight, sadly, but we'll we'll see about putting it up soon. Yeah. He actually didn't look that bad. He did, he did a lot better than I thought he would. But that was great showing by Fixel, although it looked really ugly at first. He, he composed himself, and he made it look mm -hmm. really good. Right. Fixel, the first NorCal player for KOF that knows how to adapt. There's got to be one, right? I mean, <laughs> we, we yeah, can't all be bad. The, the, odds, the odds are against they're all being bad. <laughs> There's finally been an evolution. <laughs> oh, man. Well, good, good on Pixel for doing that. Um, I think that uh, we're going to go on a break real quick. And we and... got a bonus matchup for everyone. Oh. You guys get to watch Mark of the Wolves first to ten. Gibby versus Hell Pocket. Stay tuned because it's funny. <laughs>